Have you ever wondered if the medications you take every day might be hurting your heart? It's a scary thought, but it's crucial to know the risks. While these medications might be helping one part of your body, they could be harming another. Today we're diving into a list of seven common medications that could be damaging your heart without you even realizing it. From over-the-counter pain relievers to prescriptions for chronic conditions, these everyday drugs might be putting your heart health at risk. Stick around to find out which medications you should be wary of and what you can do to protect your heart. Number one, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, are commonly used to relieve pain, reduce inflammation, and lower fever. While they are effective for managing various conditions such as arthritis, headaches, and muscle aches, they can also pose risks to heart health, particularly when used long-term or in high doses. One of the main concerns with NSAIDs is their potential to increase the risk of heart attack and stroke. These drugs work by inhibiting enzymes called psychooxygenases, COX, which play a role in inflammation and pain perception. However, COX enzymes also have protective effects on the cardiovascular system, particularly COX-2, which helps regulate blood flow and protect the lining of blood vessels. Regular use of NSAIDs can disrupt this balance, leading to an increased risk of blood clots, heart attacks, and strokes. Additionally, NSAIDs can cause fluid retention, which can raise blood pressure and put extra strain on the heart. This is particularly concerning for individuals with pre-existing heart conditions or risk factors such as high blood pressure, diabetes, or obesity. Moreover, certain NSAIDs have been associated with an increased risk of heart failure, particularly in older adults or those with existing heart disease. This risk appears to be dose-dependent, meaning higher doses or longer durations of NSAID use are associated with a greater risk of heart failure. To minimize the risk of heart problems associated with NSAIDs, healthcare providers typically recommend using the lowest effective dose for the shortest duration possible. They may also advise patients with heart disease or significant cardiovascular risk factors to avoid NSAIDs altogether and consider alternative pain management strategies, such as acetaminophen or physical therapy. It's essential for patients to be aware of the potential risks associated with NSAIDs and to discuss any concerns with their health care provider. By carefully weighing the benefits and risks of NSAID therapy and exploring alternative treatment options when necessary, Individuals can protect their heart health while effectively managing pain and inflammation. Number two, certain diabetes medications. Diabetes medications are crucial for managing blood sugar levels and preventing complications associated with the disease. However, some medications, particularly thiazolidinodones, TZDs, have been linked to an increased risk of heart problems, particularly heart failure. TZDs, such as pioglitazone, Actos, and rosiglitazone, Avandia, work by making the body more sensitive to insulin, thereby improving blood sugar control. While effective for managing diabetes, these drugs can also cause fluid retention, leading to swelling and increased strain on the heart. This fluid buildup can worsen heart failure or increase the risk of developing heart failure in susceptible individuals. Furthermore, TZDs have been associated with an increased risk of heart attack, particularly in patients with existing cardiovascular disease. The exact mechanism behind this increased risk is not fully understood, but may involve effects on lipid metabolism and inflammation within the blood vessels. For individuals with diabetes who are considering or currently taking TZDs, it's essential to weigh the potential benefits of improved blood sugar control against the risks to heart health. Healthcare providers typically assess each patient's individual risk profile, taking into account factors such as age, existing heart disease, and overall health status before prescribing these medications. Regular monitoring of heart function is also crucial for patients on TZDs. This may involve periodic assessments of heart function using tests like echocardiograms or cardiac stress tests. Patients should also be vigilant for signs of heart failure, such as shortness of breath, swelling in the legs, or unexplained weight gain and report these symptoms to their healthcare provider promptly. 
In some cases, alternative diabetes medications may be considered for individuals at high risk of heart problems. These may include other classes of oral medications, such as metformin or sulfonylureas, or injectable medications like insulin or glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor agonists, GLP-1 agonists, which have been shown to have neutral or beneficial effects on heart health. Overall, while certain diabetes medications like TZDs can pose risks to heart health, careful monitoring and individualized treatment plans can help mitigate these risks and ensure that patients with diabetes can effectively manage their condition while protecting their heart. Number three, antidepressants. Antidepressants are essential for millions of people dealing with depression and anxiety, helping to improve mood, energy levels, and overall quality of life. However, these medications can have significant impacts on heart health, which vary depending on the type of antidepressant used. Tricyclic antidepressants, TCAs, such as amitriptyline, Elevil, and nortriptyline, Pamelor, are among the oldest types of antidepressants. While effective, TCAs can cause several cardiovascular side effects. These include an increased heart rate, orthostatic hypotension, a drop in blood pressure upon standing, and arrhythmias, which are irregular heartbeats. For individuals with pre-existing heart conditions, these effects can be particularly dangerous, potentially exacerbating issues like heart failure or increasing the risk of sudden cardiac events. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, such as fluoxetine, Prozac, and sertraline, Zoloft, are newer and generally considered safer for the heart than TCAs. However, SSRIs are not without their own risks. Long-term use of SSRIs has been linked to a slight increase in the risk of developing heart disease, particularly in individuals with existing cardiovascular risk factors. SSRIs can also cause side effects like increased heart rate and blood pressure, though these effects are usually less pronounced than with TCAs. Another class of antidepressants, serotonin norepinephrine uptake inhibitors, SNRIs, such as venlafaxine, Effexor, and duloxetine, Cymbalta, can also affect heart health. SNRIs can increase blood pressure and heart rate, making them less suitable for individuals with uncontrolled hypertension or significant heart disease. Given these potential risks, it is crucial for patients to work closely with their healthcare providers when using antidepressants. Regular monitoring of heart rate, blood pressure, and overall cardiovascular health is essential. Patients should also be aware of symptoms such as chest pain, palpitations, dizziness, or unexplained fatigue, and report these to their doctor promptly. For those with existing heart conditions or significant risk factors, alternative treatments for depression and anxiety might be considered, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, or other non-pharmacological interventions. These alternatives can sometimes offer effective symptoms relief without the cardiovascular risk associated with antidepressants. Ultimately, while antidepressants play a vital role in mental health treatment, being aware of their potential impact on the heart and managing these risks through vigilant monitoring and open communication with healthcare providers is key to ensuring overall well-being. Number four, antipsychotic medications. Antipsychotic medications are critical for managing severe mental health conditions such as schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. These drugs, including olanzapine, zyproxa, and clozapin, clozaril, work by altering the effects of neurotransmitters in the brain, helping to stabilize mood and reduce psychotic symptoms. However, their impact on the heart can be significant and concerning. Olanzapin and clozapin, along with other antipsychotics, are associated with an increased risk of metabolic syndrome. This condition encompasses a cluster of symptoms, including weight gain, high blood sugar, increased blood pressure, and abnormal cholesterol levels. All these factors contribute to a higher risk of cardiovascular diseases. For example, significant weight gain is common with these medications, which can strain the heart and lead to conditions like hypertension and diabetes, both of which are major risk factors for heart disease. Moreover, clozapin has a well-documented risk of causing myocarditis, an inflammation of the heart muscle. This condition can lead to heart failure if not detected and managed early. 
Symptoms of myocarditis include chest pain, fatigue, and shortness of breath, which require immediate medical attention. Antipsychotic medications can also prolong the QT interval on an electrocardiogram, EKG. This prolongation can lead to a type of serious arrhythmia, called torsadas de puentes, which can be life-threatening. Regular cardiac monitoring, including EKGs, is crucial for patients on these medications to detect any early signs of heart rhythm disturbances. Managing the cardiovascular risks of antipsychotic medications requires a multifaceted approach. Healthcare providers often recommend lifestyle changes, such as a balanced diet and regular exercise, to mitigate weight gain and improve overall heart health. Regular monitoring of blood pressure, blood sugar, and cholesterol levels is also essential. In some cases, healthcare providers may prescribe medications to manage these side effects and reduce cardiovascular risk. Patients and caregivers should maintain open communication with their healthcare team, promptly reporting any symptoms like unexplained weight gain, chest pain, or palpitations. By staying vigilant and proactive, individuals on antipsychotic medications can better manage their mental health while protecting their heart. Number five, chemotherapy drugs. Chemotherapy drugs are essential weapons in the fight against cancer, but their use can also impact heart health in significant ways that patients and healthcare providers must be aware of. One of the most concerning cardiovascular side effects of chemotherapy is cardiomyopathy, a condition where the heart muscle becomes weakened and less able to pump blood effectively. Certain chemotherapy drugs, such as doxorubicin, adriamycin, trastuzumab, herceptin, and duanorubicin, are known to increase the risk of cardiomyopathy. These drugs can damage the heart muscle cells, leading to symptoms such as shortness of breath, fatigue, and swelling in the legs. In addition to cardiomyopathy, chemotherapy drugs can also cause arrhythmias or abnormal heart rhythms. Drugs like cisplatin and paclitaxel can disrupt the electrical signals that regulate heart rhythm, leading to potentially life-threatening arrhythmias such as ventricular tachycardia or torsadas de puentes. These arrhythmias can cause dizziness, fainting, or even sudden cardiac arrest. Furthermore, certain chemotherapy drugs particularly those that target rapidly dividing cells like those found in cancer, can also damage the blood vessels of the heart, leading to conditions such as myocardial ischemia or myocarditis. Myocardial ischemia occurs when the blood flow to the heart is reduced, depriving it of oxygen and nutrients. Myocarditis is inflammation of the heart muscle, which can lead to symptoms such as chest pain, palpitations, and shortness of breath. The risk of cardiovascular complications from chemotherapy is influenced by various factors, including the type and dose of chemotherapy drugs used, the duration of treatment, and the patient's existing cardiovascular health. Individuals with pre-existing heart conditions, such as coronary artery disease or heart failure, may be at a higher risk of experiencing cardiovascular side effects from chemotherapy. To mitigate the risks associated with chemotherapy drugs, Healthcare providers take several precautions. Before starting chemotherapy, patients typically undergo cardiac evaluations, including tests such as echocardiograms and electrocardiograms to assess heart function. During treatment, regular monitoring of cardiac function is essential to detect any signs of heart damage early. In some cases, cardioprotective medications may be prescribed alongside chemotherapy to help protect the heart from damage. Patients undergoing chemotherapy should also adopt heart-healthy lifestyle habits, such as maintaining a balanced diet, engaging in regular physical activity, and avoiding tobacco use to support overall cardiovascular health. Overall, while chemotherapy drugs are crucial for treating cancer, their potential impact on heart health underscores the importance of close monitoring and collaboration between oncologists and cardiologists to minimize risks and optimize outcomes for patients. Number six, weight loss medications. Weight loss medications are often seen as a quick fix for those struggling to shed excess pounds, but they come with significant considerations, especially regarding heart health. These medications, while sometimes effective in aiding weight loss, can pose risks and complications that impact cardiovascular health. 
One category of weight loss medications includes appetite suppressants, such as fentermine, adipex P, and diethylpropion, tenuate. These drugs work by affecting neurotransmitters in the brain to reduce feelings of hunger. While they can be effective in helping people eat less and lose weight, they also come with potential cardiovascular side effects. These include increased heart rate and blood pressure, which can strain the heart over time. For individuals with existing heart conditions or hypertension, these effects can be particularly concerning and may increase the risk of heart attack or stroke. Another type of weight loss medication is fat absorption inhibitors, such as Orlistat, Xenical. These drugs work by blocking the absorption of dietary fat in the intestines, leading to weight loss over time. While they can help individuals lose weight, they also have gastrointestinal side effects such as diarrhea and flatulence. Additionally, Orlistat has been associated with rare cases of severe liver injury, which can impact overall health and potentially affect heart function. In recent years, newer weight loss medications have emerged, such as liraglutide, Saxenda, and bupropion naltrexone, Contrave. These drugs work through various mechanisms, including reducing appetite, increasing feelings of fullness, and altering the reward system in the brain. While these medications may offer additional options for individuals struggling with obesity, they also come with potential cardiovascular risks. Liraglutide, for example, has been associated with an increased heart rate and a small but significant increase in heart rate-related events, such as palpitations. Furthermore, rapid weight loss achieved through medication can also have implications for heart health. Losing weight too quickly can lead to loss of muscle mass, including the heart muscle, which can weaken the heart over time. Additionally, rapid weight loss can trigger electrolyte imbalances and nutritional deficiencies, which can impact heart function and overall health. Given these potential risks, it's essential for individuals considering weight loss medications to have a thorough discussion with their healthcare provider. Healthcare providers can assess the individual's overall health status, including cardiovascular risk factors, and help weigh the potential benefits and risks of medication use. In some cases, alternative approaches to weight loss, such as lifestyle modifications, including diet and exercise, may be recommended as safer and more sustainable options for improving overall health and managing weight. Regular monitoring of heart health, including blood pressure, heart rate, and overall cardiovascular function is crucial for individuals using weight loss medications to ensure their safety and well-being. Number seven, hormonal therapies. Last but not least, let's talk about hormonal therapies. Hormonal therapies encompass a wide range of treatments used for various medical conditions, from managing menopause symptoms to providing contraception. While these therapies offer significant benefits, they also come with potential implications for heart health that should be carefully considered. One commonly prescribed hormonal therapy is hormone replacement therapy, HRT, which involves the administration of estrogen and sometimes progesterone to alleviate symptoms associated with menopause, such as hot flashes, vaginal dryness, and mood swings. While HRT can provide relief from these symptoms, research has shown that long-term use of estrogen alone HRT or combined estrogen-progesterone therapy may increase the risk of cardiovascular events including heart attacks, strokes, and blood clots. The Women's Health Initiative, WHI study, a landmark clinical trial, found that women using estrogen progestin therapy had a higher risk of coronary heart disease compared to those taking a placebo. Similarly, estrogen alone therapy was associated with an increased risk of stroke, particularly in older women. These findings underscore the importance of weighing the potential benefits of HRT against the risks, particularly for women with existing cardiovascular risk factors. In addition to HRT, hormonal contraceptives are widely used for birth control. Oral contraceptives containing estrogen and progestin are highly effective at preventing pregnancy, but may also carry cardiovascular risks, particularly in certain populations. Women who smoke, are over the age of 35 or have existing cardiovascular risk factors such as hypertension or diabetes may be at increased risk of blood clots when using hormonal contraceptives. These blood clots can travel to the heart and brain, 
leading to serious complications such as heart attacks or strokes. It's important for women considering hormonal therapies, whether for menopause management or contraception, to discuss their individual health history and risk factors with their health care provider. Alternative treatment options, such as non-hormonal therapies for menopause symptoms or non-hormonal forms of contraception, may be recommended for some women to minimize cardiovascular risks. Regular monitoring of cardiovascular health is also essential for women using hormonal therapies. Blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and overall heart function should be assessed periodically to detect any changes or early signs of cardiovascular disease. Any symptoms suggestive of heart problems, such as chest pain, shortness of breath, or palpitations, should be promptly reported to a healthcare provider for evaluation. By staying informed about the potential risks and benefits of hormonal therapies and working closely with healthcare providers to monitor and manage cardiovascular health, women can make informed decisions that support their overall well-being. Taking care of your heart is essential, and being aware of the potential risks associated with common medications is a critical part of that care. If you're concerned about any medications you're taking, don't hesitate to discuss these with your doctor. They can help you weigh the benefits and risks and might be able to suggest alternative treatments that are safer for your heart. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health tips and information. Thanks for watching and take care.